It's a question as old as World of Warcraft itself. Bobby, we've bought you so many yachts. Can we please have houses for our characters? I mean, think about it. What happens to our characters when we log out? Do they sleep somewhere? Do they sleep on the floor? Do they have a hostel that they stay at? Is every World of Warcraft character actually homeless? Well, I think that player housing is in order for World of Warcraft. I think it would be a great addition to the game. So today I wanna walk you through a couple reasons why I think it would be awesome for the game. Two, how they tried it before and failed. And then three, how they can fix it next time around and the system that they should put in place to make player housing work. My name's Bright Life, this is my fancy shirt. And today we're talking about housing in World of Warcraft. Let's jump into it. All right, so let's talk why player housing, starting off with reason number one. It would build the community that World of Warcraft is currently lacking. Now, it's no secret that other MMOs like Lord of the Rings Online, SWOTOR, Final Fantasy XIV have really great communities that are really fun to be a part of that are very welcoming and kind and friendly. When you walk into the Final Fantasy Rage, you get that little zero with the slash mark from every single person just to say hi. And I've actually had flashpoints in Star Wars The Republic and I've had some raid runs in Lord of the Rings Online where we literally talked the whole time about life. But when I go into World of Warcraft raids, it's very interesting. Uh, have you noticed that nobody calls each other by their player character anymore. Like, people don't call me Bright Life in World of Warcraft. They call me Pally for Paladin, or they call me DK if I'm a Death Knight, or they call me Trash if I'm a survivalist hunter. It's really strange how that works, and it shows the dehumanization of the community. And a lot of this, of course, comes from the fact that Blizzard really focused for a long time on the competitive scene, on the Mythic Plus pushes, on the race to world firsts, even on PvP arena systems, and trying to make that a big esports scene. And because of that, the game became very competitive. But in order to be competitive in WoW, you kind of have to dehumanize people, don't you? I mean, you gotta scream at them like they're just characters, not people. You have to yell more dots, more dots, more dots to people to make them do the job because otherwise you won't be competitive like you're supposed to be in World of Warcraft. Well, I think that adding player housing would actually change this because it would give World of Warcraft the ability to build community communities around the housing system. I'm going to talk about how I think that World of Warcraft should adopt the neighborhood style housing system, but I think this would be a good thing because then people would actually get to know one another. And where I think World of Warcraft's community has swung on the pendulum towards competitive and dehumanizing, it would be nice to see World of Warcraft introduce things that would intentionally swing that pendulum back towards having really personalized gameplay, a friendly, fun place to be, and really just a positive atmosphere. And I think player housing would really help that happen. All right, number two reason that I think that player housing would absolutely rock for World of Warcraft, well, it's the fact that it would give crafters something significant to do. Like, think about it right now. What do crafters actually get to do that's significant to the game? No, really, I'm actually asking as a crafter myself, like, what am I supposed to do in the game right now? Help me, Bobby, I'm lost. But crafters have long been kind of homeless, no pun intended, in World of Warcraft. They haven't really had a great niche. And with Shadowlands, they tried to make it a little bit better with crafted legendaries, with Dragonflight, they're adding some other things, but the reality is when it comes to power systems, there will always be a way to get around crafting, to get the power item level that you need. I'm sure even in Dragonflight with its new crafting systems that you're going to be able to get the strongest gear without having to go to a crafter. I'm sure that at some point they're going to introduce that system into the game. What I think would be so cool about player housing for the crafters in World of Warcraft is it would be really awesome if pieces of furniture, maybe legendary legendary chairs and tables and outdoor adornments actually were only able to be crafted by crafters. You couldn't pick them up off the ground. They weren't quest rewards. The only way to get these awesome pieces for your house would be through the crafting system. It would give crafters a great space to actually niche in and fit in and feel important in the game again. All right, number three, it fits perfectly into the dedicated players scene. You get to show off your achievements with player housing. I think this would be so cool because do you remember how long you spent on the Invincible Mount? Like, you grinded and grinded for that thing. You killed the Lich King on Mythic over and over and over again. You neglected yourself. You neglected your family. You broke up with your girlfriend. <laughs> I cracked myself up. World of Warcraft players having girlfriends, man. That's fun. 
<laughs> That's funny, man. Oh, anyway. But then eventually it finally dropped and it was amazing and you rode it around and showed people your thing. But now so many expansions in past and the only thing that Invincible is really good for is getting you laughed at during Asmongold's transmog competitions because everybody seems to mount that with their set. And that's a big bummer because I still do think there is a place for those old achievements that you got way back in the day. And I think that being able to have player housing would allow you to show off those achievements maybe in your front yard, maybe within your house there were plaques about the best achievements that you got, maybe there were furniture pieces that you could only get through achievements. Maybe you can actually put five of your favorite mounts out in the front yard of your house so that people could see what you had achieved. I think that would be a really, really cool thing. And then lastly and finally, I think it would just add a system with fun. Like, do you remember when we used to have fun in video games? That was a blast when it wasn't all just a chore. Well, I think that this would add a way for us all to just have a great time in World of Warcraft. Be able to just actually chill and relax and enjoy the game without feeling like we had to go do more dailies, more mythic pluses, more PvP grinds. You'd actually just have a place to be. Be. And I think that World of Warcraft needs more systems like this. Now, I love with Dragonflight that they're adding some fun systems like Dragonflying. I talk about that in my last World of Warcraft video, but I really do think it needs even more. Blizzard needs to remember that this game is about the fun that you can have. Now, of course, for those with good memory, uh, Blizzard already has forayed into the player housing model with garrisons in Warlords of Draenor, uh, and they were really not received very well. So I'm sure Blizzard is very, very cautious to get back into this player housing market area, but I do think there's a reason that garrisons failed, and it's because they were way too isolated, that everybody's player house was their own personal instance, and it was very difficult to try to visit somebody else's. It drove people away from the main hub cities and it made the game feel very desolate because the best and most profitable place to be was in your garrison and so what I'd like to propose is that there's another way to do it that there's a way to do it that actually incentivizes people to be in community together it incentivizes fun and it also adds some great reward tracks along the way and hey if Blizzard sees this and likes this then maybe they can let me into the Dragonflight Alpha <laughs> All right, so the first way to do it is to make this a neighborhood style game. Allow you to have 70 other houses within little neighborhoods that exist to where your house is next to other people's neighborhood house in the instance, kind of like in Final Fantasy XIV system or Lord of the Rings Online system, where you can build your house and you will know that the neighbor down the road is building theirs and maybe there's a guild house in the middle. You could even build these 70-ish houses around that guild hall as well. Maybe even guilds could own a neighborhood. That would be another great way to incentivize a great community in this space. And I think that having a neighborhooded instance as opposed to a single player instance would really build out what is good about player housing and what would actually drive community growth, fun, and just being able to hang out with one another. And I think this would be so cool for you and the other 70 houses. No, no, no. If it's you and 70 houses, that would be 70 minus you would be 69. Nice. So the second thing on the how I would do it scale would be, of course, to have a great big exterior space to show off your kills, your achievements, your mounts, things like that that would allow you to show off who you are and what you've done as a player in World of Warcraft. Did you know life the game during Shadowlands and get top 10% of Mythic Jailer kills? Well, I think you should have a special sword that sits in your front yard that allows people to see when they walk by, wow, that guy is really a degenerate gamer. Or if you spent way too much time looking for the Ashes of Alar or trying to get that time lost Proto Drake, well, then it would be cool to have those running around in your front yard as well, so that again, people can look at you and go, wow, this person really has no self-control when it comes to World of Warcraft. All right, number three, I think that actually making the houses a bit different than other houses would be really cool. Namely, it would be cool to be able to have houses that went along with your class fantasy or your race fantasy with your World of Warcraft races or classes, maybe human style houses or orc style houses. But I really think that it'd be awesome if you could have class based houses because so many people play their classes for that class's fantasy. It would be cool if maybe, you know, paladins had temples that like to the light and it was gold and white and it 
would be really sweet. Maybe monks could have an Eastern style house that moved a little bit more with those Chinese lamps and things like that. And maybe even like affliction warlocks could have a one-to-one -one representation of their mom's basement because that's where they spend all of their time anyway. So it'd be really cool to show that off to the world around them. All right, and then lastly, this is the way that I think this would really all come together would be to have actual incentivized neighborhood events. Things like mount races, maybe duels, pet battles, things like that, that would allow this space to be a place where the neighborhood is incentivized to come together. You could incentivize this with mounts, maybe other achievement points, maybe even just different pets that you could get. But either way, it'd be really cool to have neighborhood events where people come together to do things together in the neighborhood. And I think this would build this sense of community. It would allow friendship to actually flourish in World of Warcraft. Because I think these community events are really the thing that draws a lot of people to WoW. And it's the reason that things like Asmongold's Mount Off competitions and his Transmog competitions are so popular is because you're just essentially taking the community together and allowing them to show off what they have and have fun together and goof off. And I think that WoW actually having an official system for that would be really, really cool. I mean, even think about it. What if we added a battle royale into the neighborhood where the last person standing wins? Because, you know, in my mind, the thing that World of Warcraft needs a lot more of is Fortnite. All right, so in conclusion, World of Warcraft is lacking a couple of things. Uh, personal community, crafting identity, purely fun systems, and just the ability to show off to your friends in a game-sanctioned way. But I really think that done right, personal housing could bring all of that back. It would allow you to do all of those things at once. It would allow for community to flourish and thrive, and I think it would be a great, awesome idea for Blizzard to implement, and I hope that they do it in a future patch or expansion. But hey, I wanna pass the question off to you. What do you think? Do you like player housing? Do you you think this is a far-fetched idea would blizzard even ever do this let me know in the comments below but friends as always if you liked the video please like it if you loved it go ahead and sub to the channel it shows me that you want to see more videos like this but as always friends the last two things are the most important things that i say all video you are more loved than you know and you are so much more valuable than you realize i hope you have an incredible day and i will see you in the next one Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I uh, want to let you know a couple ways to connect with me. First of all, we got an awesome Discord in the description. We've got a Patreon if you'd like to give to the channel and help support more video creation. And I am live on Twitch quite often over at twitch.tv slash brightlifecommunity. Would love to see you there. Always love interacting on those live video streams. But I hope you have an incredible day, my loved and valued friend. Have an awesome one.